I always wanted a lava lamp growing up and I was never allowed to have one. Well, by God, I'm 42 years old and I've got the original classic lava brand lava lamp right here in front of me. Just removing the plastic now. Here is an included bulb. I don't want to handle that just yet. Here is the liquid. Let me read what this says real quick. Your lava lamp will take two to three hours to reach optimal flow. So again, here is the liquid. Here is the base. And I'm just gently screwing the bulb into place now. With the aid of the plastic bubble wrap that was included. And that feels tight there. So let me get it closer to the camera. Down inside there, hopefully now you can see, you see that bulb? Just placing the, here, look, there's a shot of the orange wax that's in the bottom of a lava lamp before it ever gets heated up. Okay, I'm going to gently place this inside of here, putting the cap on top now, just to plug it up. Okay, I've just plugged it up. This one here is neon and glows in the dark. Check it out. Illuminating mood since 1965. The original lava brand. So all we've known growing up is lava lamps and this is actually one of the original lava lamps right here before us all from the Schilling brand. Once it does heat up and start flowing, I'll get on live again and then we can all take a look at it in its full action, okay? But I can attest that it took less than two hours for this one to heat up before it reached the boiling point that you see here. This is the pink liquid with the orange wax. I just get mesmerized nearly. I'm just staring at those freaking lava bubbles doing their thing. Look at that. That's so cool. Why I'm proud of the lava lamp though, that thing is cool. I was hoping it was gonna be a good one and I couldn't be more pleased.